we've been doing some analyses where we've been interested in looking at different types of uh, behavioral, environmental, and some biological triggers of migraine. And my background is, a, is in sleep research. So, and as a sleep clinician, we're always very interested in light exposure. And there's been some exciting research uh, lately, um, specifically about different uh, wavelengths of light and their potential clinical impact on migraine. So as part of uh, our data set, we did sort of secondarily capture light on um, some of our data collection instruments. So we were able to proceed uh, with being able to provide some insight into this uh, associations between white light and migraine onset. So we enrolled over 100 patients with episodic migraine in the Boston area over the course of a year and a half. And those participants were asked to complete diaries twice a day and to wear an actigraph, which is a device worn on the wrist uh, that measures activity uh, in light and really estimates sleep and light exposure uh, continuously while the participants are wearing it. So for this analysis, um, we use the light data captured by by the actographs, and then the diary data gave us further information about headaches on a daily basis, as well as other important behavioral characteristics, such as daily alcohol, physical activity, ca caffeine use, so that we could account for that in our analyses. Interestingly, um, we found an association between white light exposure and risk of headache. And the way we looked at white light, because, um, th there wasn't a clear best way to look at it. We didn't want to look at light right before the headache started because we didn't know, because people may experience prodromal symptoms, you know, may, they might go seek darker places and it actually might impact um, how valid our association's finding were. So we divided the days. Uh, into four segments to really approximate, you know, um, nighttime periods, morning, afternoon, and evening periods. So we, when we looked at these six hour intervals, we did find that white exposure in any one, uh, in these, these segments of time uh, was associated with higher risk of your, your migraine starting during that period. Uh, but we did not find an association between your light exposure during one six-hour segment and your risk of getting headache in the next segment. So it did seem to be an association within, within each six-hour se uh, segments. Given how tricky it is to measure circadian timing, um, from the data we have thus far, uh, we can't provide insight into that question, but we do plan to do further analyses where we can look at deviations from one's um, uh, approximate circadian rhythm and look at migraine. Uh, it's a difficult relationship to study and um, there haven't really been too many studies that have tried to target it. There's some recent data looking you know, across individuals and perhaps noting that people with headaches may be more likely to be night owls, but that was in another small cohort study. Uh, and so there, it's an area that's really ripe for research that's very much an interest to our group to try to start figuring out. Thank you.